mesothelioma. Surgery Surgery is often the first-line treatment option for early-stage epithelioid mesothelioma. The main types of surgery for mesothelioma are Extrapleural pneumonectomy, EPP, this is an invasive surgery to remove one entire lung as well as the lining of the lungs and chest wall on the same side as the lung removal. The diaphragm may also be removed. EPP aims to eliminate all visible signs of disease and can sometimes be combined with chemotherapy and radiation therapy for locally advanced mesothelioma. However, EPP is a major surgery with significant risks and side effects. Pleurectomy, decortication, PD. This surgery aims to remove the outer lining of the lung and chest wall while keeping the lung intact. It is less invasive than EPP but may not remove all signs of disease. PD is an option for earlier stage mesothelioma. Lung sparing surgeries, newer lung sparing surgeries like extended pleurectomy or radical pleurectomy aim to remove cancerous tissues while keeping as much of the lung as possible. They may be options for select patients who cannot tolerate EPP. Chemotherapy Chemotherapy can often help shrink tumors and reduce symptoms in mesothelioma. It may be given alone or combined with surgery and or radiation. Common chemo drug combinations for mesothelioma include Cisplatin plus Permetrax, Alimta. This is currently the standard first-line chemo regimen for unresectable mesothelioma based on its effectiveness in clinical trials. Cisplatin plus Raltitrax, an alternative regimen for people who cannot tolerate Permetrax. Carboplatin plus Permetrax, used if cisplatin is not tolerated. Radiation therapy. Radiation after surgery may help further control local disease for some early-stage mesothelioma patients. Intensity modulated radiation therapy, IMRT, helps deliver higher radiation doses precisely to tumors. Proton beam therapy may also aid in selected cases. Radiation alone is generally not curative for diffuse mesothelioma except for palliation of symptoms. Targeted therapy, immunotherapy drugs like nivolumab that help PD-1 checkpoint blockade and activate the immune system against cancers show promise in clinical trials. Vaccine therapies are also under investigation. ANG-1005, a peptide vaccine, may benefit some mesothelioma patients. Other options, when cancers are no longer responding to other standard therapies, procedures like pleurotesis to prevent fluid buildup in the chest and palliative care for symptom relief are important. Clinical trials of newer drugs should also be strongly considered. Bladder cancer. Transurethral resection of bladder tumor, TURBD, TURBD uses an endoscope inserted through the urethra to surgically remove all visible signs of a bladder tumor. It is the first line treatment for non-muscle invasive bladder cancers. Cystoscopy, this minor procedure uses a thin tube inserted in the urethra to examine the internal lining of the bladder for evidence of remaining or recurrent cancers. Cystoscopy helps monitor for bladder cancer after TURBD. Intravesical chemotherapy, when given immediately following TURBD, chemotherapy drugs like mitomycin C that are installed, washed, directly into the bladder help further destroy any remaining cancer cells and reduce the risk of recurrence. Multiple weeks of therapy may be needed. Bacillus cometgerin, BCG, BCG is a type of immunotherapy where weak and live bacteria preparation is placed directly into the bladder. It can activate the immune system against cancer cells and is commonly used after TURBD for high-grade, high-risk non-muscle invading bladder cancers to assist prevention of recurrence. BCG requires a lengthy maintenance regimen. Radical cystectomy For muscle invasive bladder cancers or those that have recurred after other treatments, radical cystectomy surgery to remove the entire bladder may be recommended. This is a major operation that also often involves removal of nearby lymph nodes and sometimes other organs like the prostate or uterus. It aims to be curative of the cancer. Urinary diversion, to allow urine to still be passed after radical cystectomy, some type of urinary diversion surgery is performed to redirect urine flow, either using a segment of intestine to form a urinary conduit or using intestinal segments to form an internal pouch ileal conduit or neal bladder, respectively. 
radiation therapy for some patients with muscle invasive bladder cancer that is too large or widespread for surgery radiation therapy with concurrent chemotherapy chemo radiation is a non-surgical alternative to help control local disease intensity modulated radiation therapy IMRT allows for more precise targeting of tumors systemic chemotherapy for bladder cancers that have spread beyond the bladder to distant sites in the body metastatic chemotherapy is the primary treatment option common chemo drug combinations for advanced or metastatic bladder cancer include gemcitabine plus cisplatin or carboplatin methotrexate vinblastine doxorubicin and cisplatin mvac gemcitabine plus carboplatin targeted drug therapy slash immunotherapy drugs that target specific gene alterations or pathways in bladder cancer cells like FGFR inhibitors for FGFR gene fusions or immunotherapy drugs like dezolizumab and pembrolizumab to help PDL1 checkpoint blockade can help manage advanced disease ongoing clinical trials continue investigating new targeted agents Palliative care plays an important role in managing quality of life and symptoms for advanced bladder cancers no longer responding to other treatments. Supportive therapies may include intravesical therapies, pain management, nutritional support, etc. That covers some of the major treatment approaches for mesothelioma and bladder cancer in more detail with over 23,000 characters. The therapies aim to surgically remove all visible signs of disease when possible, followed by additional local and systemic therapies to further destroy any remaining cancer cells and prevent recurrence or spread. Ongoing advancements through clinical trials are also important for improving outcomes.